Welcome to Tunacheki and a special welcome to the African History Series. In today's video, we'll be looking at one of the most famous African queens, Queen Nefertiti. Queen Nefertiti was the queen of Egypt and wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten during the 14th century before Christ. She and her husband established the cult of Aten, the sun god, and promoted Egyptian artwork that was radically different from any of his predecessors. Before we get into the story, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's get into it. Little is known about the origins of Nefertiti, but her legacy of beauty and power continue to intrigue us up to today. It is believed she was 15 when she got married, which may have been before Akhenaten assumed the throne. Their daughter Anke Senamun would eventually marry their half-brother Tutankhamun, the future ruler of Egypt. Documentation shows that the king and his queen seemed to be inseparable, often showing them riding in chariots together and even kissing in public. With all the love shown to her, she held many titles such as Great of Praises, Lady of Grace, Sweet of Love, Main King's Wife, His Beloved, Lady of All Women and many more titles. Fertiti was perhaps one of the most powerful women to have ever ruled. Her husband went to great lengths to display her as an equal. In several reliefs, she's shown wearing the crown of Pharaoh or smiting her enemies in battle, which was rare for women to do. Unfortunately, after 12 years of her reign, despite this great power, Nefertiti disappears from all depictions. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let us know your thoughts on this amazing queen and also let us know in the comment section below of the other kings and queens of our continent that you'd like us to cover. Thank you for watching and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of our videos.